Let's take a look at how to write variable expressions. Write an expression for the following 30 plus x. Okay, well guys, when you see a variable, a variable is just something that's standing for a number we don't know. We're adding some number we don't know to 30. So we're gonna call that x. Okay, and I'm just gonna follow the setup they gave me, 30. Okay, plus, I'm just gonna write as a plus sign x. So I would write this as 30 plus x. Write an expression for the following, total of 12 and x. Okay, well keep in mind the total means all together. So if I want to know all together how much 12 and x are worth, I would need to add them, right? So 12 plus x. Okay, so it wouldn't be subtraction, multiplication, or division. Now notice, I said 12 plus x, and they said x plus 12. But notice, those are the exact same things because you're allowed to add in any order, right? That's our commutative property of addition. Okay, so you could either say 12 plus x or x plus 12. Write an expression for the following, 94 increased by x. Okay, well we have to think about what increased is telling us to do. So if we already have 94 and then we increase it by x, that means we're adding x more or we're making it bigger by x number. So that would be 94 plus x. Write an expression for the following, x and 81 more. Okay, well if we already have x and then we're going to add 81 more, I would say plus 81, right? More means we're making it bigger. Seventy-six less than x. Okay, so guys, less than is a keyword that tells us to subtract. Now you have to be really careful when you have subtraction problems because remember with addition, the order didn't matter. If we said two plus x or x plus two, it was the same. But with subtraction, the order does matter. Now what's really tempting is a lot of times students wanna do this. They wanna say, okay, 76 less than means subtract x, but that would actually be wrong. If it's 76 less, that means the 76 is being subtracted. Okay, so we're starting out with x, and then if it's 76 less than x, that means we have to subtract the 76. So be really careful with the subtraction, and the hint is whatever the number is that's less, like 76 less, that means that's the number that we're subtracting. Write an expression for the following, 77 minus x. Okay, well the wording of this one is a little different, right? We're starting out with 77, and then we're gonna subtract or say minus x. So this one, we're gonna keep the order that it's in. 77 minus x. x subtracted from 64, okay? Well, again, you have to think about the order. Is this going to be written this way? Or is it going to be written like this? Right? Notice these are not the same. These are two completely different things. Well, x is being subtracted from 64. Okay, so that would be this one, right? 64 minus x. x is the number being subtracted. This would be 64 subtracted from x. So again, being really, really careful with the order when you have those subtraction keywords. Write an expression for the following, 45 increased by x. Okay, well we already have 45 and it's going to increase or go up by x. Well that's telling us to add x. the sum of x and 68. 
Okay, guys, well, you have to keep in mind this vocabulary word sum means the answer you get when you add two numbers. So the sum of x and 68 would be x plus 68. Write an expression for the following, 22 greater than x. Okay, well 22 greater than x is the same thing as saying 22 more than x. So we're gonna take x and we're gonna make it bigger by 22, so that means we would have to add 22. Write an expression for the following, x subtracted from 35. Okay, well we're gonna make sure x is the thing being subtracted. Right, we're starting out with 35 and then we're subtracting x. So notice this is not the same thing as saying x minus 35, right? That would be 35 subtracted from x. Ninety-four greater than x. Well, greater than x means we'd have to add it on to x. So this one should be x plus 94. 66, or I'm sorry, x reduced by 66. Okay, well, if x is being reduced, that means we're starting out with x, and then we're reducing or making it smaller by 66. So that means we would have to subtract 66 from our x. x fewer than 50. Okay, well if it's x fewer, that means we're subtracting the x. So we're starting out with 50, and then it's x fewer than that, or minus x. 